Hello and welcome, this is Stacker2020 and today is another part of my What If series. Today, what if this is silver's big run up? Now I know we had a huge drop in the market in the silver price yesterday, it dropped by over 15%. But looking this morning, it's regained about 5% of those losses. The way I look at it, it's a healthy thing. Nothing goes up in a straight line. So I still feel like this is a very bullish for the silver spot price. Now, I've only been stacking for about a year and I really was hoping and thought that we would have a bit longer um, before we saw this price, this sort of price action and I would have more time to accumulate. But, you know, it looks like maybe you know there is a chance that this might be one of those rare large spikes that silver does see every now and again um so yeah i am sort of looking at this now and speculating that it might get to that point and trying to get myself prepared in case we do that. Now, for me, silver was always a speculative play. I pick up gold um, to store my wealth and for the future. Um, and I pick up silver as a speculative play in the hope that it does have this level of volatility and that I'd be able to take advantage of it, um, hopefully using the gold-silver ratio. Now, you know, looking back in March, the gold silver ratio was all the way up near 125, 126 to 1. And a few days ago, that had dropped down to about 70 to 1. So, you know, looking at it, it is a possibility. I mean, if we look at the, that, that drop is massive, you know, so the, the reality is it is possible if you do it right. I do understand that there's premiums at play here and things like that, which do make it difficult. Um, but to be honest, you know, when you look at it at the moment with the the premiums on silver for at least here over in Europe are much higher than gold. So actually, even though it's maybe was 70 to one for the spot price, uh, if you actually managed to do a silver trade in that sense, um, you probably would have been able to do it for something like 60 or 62 to 1. Um, so, you know, it is getting to those sorts of levels, getting closer to those sorts of levels that I was hoping for, um, and at which point I was thinking of cashing out at least a portion of my silver into gold. And my my first point would be at 50 to 1. If we ever get to that 50 to 1 point where I can change 50 ounces of silver to 1 ounce of gold, um, I will then, at that point do a portion of my stack and try to come do the conversion and then wait if we go lower then great i can you know transfer and get another ounce for even less silver so you know that was sort of my idea the silver is always speculative and as i said we are where we are in the market we have seen these very impressive um, spot price rises in silver since march uh, when it hit its low at just below 12 dollars and hitting its high recently, you know, over $29, pressing for that $30 mark. So, I mean, that's massive gains, massive gains in, in a very short amount of time. And uh, yeah, as I said, the reason why I personally do stack silver. Now, you know, if we do get to that point, and as I said, this is a speculative guess, if we do get to that point and silver, you know, keeps pushing up higher and, you know, gold sort of is a rising but at a slower pace and silver starts catching up a bit and we do hit those, um, you know, those, those sorts of gold-silver ratios of 30 to 1, 20 to 1, um, you know, that's a real game changer, I think, for a lot of people who have been in silver and have amassed a lot of silver for a long time. Um, I think at that point, they'll be very happy to have been doing so. And I will be very, uh, you know, not, not unhappy, but a bit gutted that I didn't get in sooner than I did. But I can't complain, you know, that's the one thing. I can't complain of the position I am in. I'm very happy and blessed to have got in when I did. Um, and, you know, so so anyway, let's cut to the chase now. What's my plan? You know, now I have been selling quite a bit of silver since the lockdown eased and things started to move with the post again. But what I've been doing is almost transferring. Um, I've been selling more of my semi-numismatic and collector coins and replacing it with just standard bullion. And it's very specifically because now I have much more, you know, having been stacking for a year, I have much more of an idea of what my actual end game is and what my sort of 
get out um, plan for selling in bulk is. So this is just my opinion. And again, guys, you know, everyone thinks about this differently, but this is just the way I look at it. If we do get to the very dizzying heights that we're talking about here, you know, if, if silver gets to that $50 range, I think there's a lot of people in the private market who are going to want to be cashing out at that point. Um, whether it's to, to sell their silver to go and buy gold or just to get out of it altogether, I think at that point, there's going to be a lot of people and the market will be flooded. Now, at that point, you're going to have so much competition um, because everybody's going to be a seller and not many people are going to be a buyer. So the way I look at it is, is actually what I'd rather do at that point is probably go to a dealer, take spot or very close to spot for my silver. Um, because, you know, as I said, that's if these gains are so much higher than what I initially paid that I won't really mind about losing premiums at that point. Um, and I just see, as I said, that competition trying to sell a bit by bit on the private market is very difficult, you know. So if, if you do want to, you know, take advantage of those price points when they're there, because they don't last for long. If history is anything to go by, looking at the previous two spikes in silver, you know, those those $50 sort of range price points, uh, they don't last long. It climbs up and then it climbs down again. So, you know, if you're trying to take advantage of the spot prices like that and you're trying to sell in bulk, I do see there being difficulties doing that in the private market. I mean, let's just say, for example, you have five thousand dollars, five thousand euros worth of silver. There's not many people who a would have the spare cash that are buying at that time and b would maybe have the trust to part with five thousand um all at once on the private market so you know that's that's the way i'm looking at it so i have been positioning myself over the last few months um getting rid of quite a lot of my coin silver um at, you know I, I am collecting it but i've been getting rid of uh, like the bulk of it um so selling some of my semi numismatic stuff and just picking up tubes of maples and things along those lines um uh, just in anticipation now if we don't get there if we sort of you know, if it, if it gets to that $30 point and it is just hovering around there, that's fine. Um, you know, as I said, I will just readjust my stacking um, at that moment and readjust my budgets and my plan going forward to that $30 price point and uh, would, you know, would probably just start reaccumulating um, because at the moment, as I said, I'm not really putting any excess money into it. I'm just sort of selling a few bits here and there, buying some other bits uh, with the same money. Um, and hopefully while doing that, adding a few ounces as I go along. Um, so, yeah, that's where I look at it. At the moment, as I said, you know, just in anticipation, I am sort of readjusting my stack, tidying it up and um, getting it ready for the way I see realistic uh, way to sell it would be in bulk um and yeah so so really trading out for more no recognizable sovereign bullion like um maple leaves and britannias and american silver eagles things along those lines i don't know what you guys are doing i don't know where you think this market is going um whichever way you look at it it's been very interesting and for those people who have been accumulating over these last six years uh you know <laughs> bravo i think you've done very well and um, I'd really like to know what people think out there. Where do you think this is going? Do you, you know, if we do, if you are a relatively new stacker and we do get to those sorts of prices, would you at this point do a gold to silver trade? Um, you know, I said, if we get to those ratios of something like 50 to 1, uh, 40 to 1, and you've bought in at, say, 80, 85 to 1, around that range, um, would you then start? consider doing the gold to silver ratio trade uh, essentially getting you know twice as much gold for your silver as you could have when you bought it um or would you still just hold on if you're not accumulated enough and just think uh, this is the time to hold on for dear life anyway thank you so much if you've been listening i hope you found it interesting uh, these two bits actually i just picked up recently uh this lovely old Engelhard bar um 10 ounce of there and then this is uh one tenth ounce uh, kangaroo i think you know that that's the thing with these one tenths is they're so small it's very difficult to see the dates on them so 
I just want to see actually what that says. So this one is ah, 2018. I thought it was 2013 when I was looking with my naked eye. But anyway, 2018. Yeah, these I picked up the other day. Um, just, you know, I said I have been picking up still, even though the prices have been relatively high. Um, I've just been picking up, as I said, slightly more specific things and uh, and less as well, less than I have been in the previous months. Thank you so much, guys. You all have a lovely day. Take care and bye-bye.